What is going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gelf and today as you can see on screen we have got the Inform Damjanovic review. The striker who plays for FCC Yol in the K-League is from Montenegro. Uh, I believe that's how you say that country's name, please don't take offence if it's not. Um, he has got 4 star weak foot, he is right footed originally and his skill moves are 3 star although I didn't actually find myself using skill moves with this guy. Uh, I picked him up for about 37,000 coins and for that we played 8 games and we scored 9 goals with him and I'm just going to start off by saying outright that this guy is awesome, he really is so good. Um, as you can see we're going to look at his in game stats now, he's got 95 finishing, that on its own is incredible, he's got a good heading, 81, 83 long shots although I did I think I scored quite a few shots outside the box. Got good penalties, good shot power. Although I didn't give him any penalties because I actually played him in a team with man, um, man of the match, team of the season, Diamante. I don't know if you noticed him on the right hand side. We've been kind of doing a couple of reviews. As you can see, he's got a high attacking work rate and a low defensive work rate, so that is fantastic for a striker, especially a lone striker because it means he stays up the pitch. As you can see, look at his strength, it's 96. He's got good physical attributes, all of them are green apart from jumping and balance, but he's six foot two anyway, so I don't think he needs that much jumping because six foot two is actually quite good. And we're gonna prove that right now because look at that. His heading is actually really, really good. Um, I scored, I think I scored three or four headed goals with him, uh, a couple of them corners, and it's really good because Diamante takes the corners and Damjanovic just slots him in every single time. It's really good. Uh, I've got a couple of clips here where we're winning the header from the goal kick. I love strikers that can do that because I always get out jumped by defenders and it really does my head in. But that is the pick of the bunch when it comes to their headers. Coming away from the goal, jumps up and still manages to get the header on target. Fantastic. We've got a few uh, key passes if that I've decided to throw in here because he's quite good at holding the ball up, turning and passing it on. That was a cross. Um, he makes so many good runs into the channels. If he's playing, because he, his trait is uh, to beat the offside trap, and what I believe that does is he, you know, he does kind of like the banana runs where the curl and just get into a gap in between both the defenders, and that gives them a clear open run. And I swear that is what that trait does, because every single time I use a player with that trait, they just seem to do these banana runs. That's what I call them. And what they basically enable you to do is just run into a clear space, and it's just so easy. Like this, this is maybe an example here, but it's Jovetic doing it. He runs into space. That is what. Um, Damjanovic can do even when there's four defenders there and he does it so well you might actually see a couple of examples when we get to the shooting section which is right now his dribbling is fantastic as well guys I didn't actually put up a his own little sub heading for shooting because so so many of these goals are actually just goals with good dribbling in them anyway so I should have really put shooting slash dribbling at the top but not to worry you're still going to see all of them anyway and um, I paid, I said 37,000 for this player and I actually honestly believe that I would pay at least double that for how good he is. I understand that his his uh, league isn't a very big league, it's the K League. I have This the second player actually I've done from the K League. I maybe could have put them in the same squad but I didn't actually have them at the same time. Um, the K League isn't a great league when it comes to golden players. It's majority of that is silver and bronzes. So this is one of the only golds in there. We've got Molina from there as well. He's gold. There's, there is a few, but they're not that great, if you know what I mean. And his country, uh, Montenegro, it is a very, very small country when it comes to players. He's got, I think they have Jovetic, obviously, which I've put in here. They've got Vukinic as well. So if you could get like a 3 5 2 or maybe even a. 4 3 1 2, where you could have Jovetic as the centre forward, you could then have Damjanovic and Vukinic up top, and then that opens you up for a Serie B hybrid, or you could do it in 3 5 2. And if you are good at making hybrids, and you can you can actually fit this guy into most of your teams. And that that shot there was his weak foot, by the way, guys. His weak foot is awesome. So I've stuck in an overview here, and I have, I've, I have in fact, given him a 9 out of 10, which for me is loads the only reason i have not given him a 10 out of 10 and this is me just picking faults and i admit that is because of the league and the nationality thing if he was in say Serie A, or if he was in the Liga or the premiership then that would give him a straight 10 out of 10 because you can put him in with some brilliant players 
but if you're not very good at making hybrids then obviously you're going to struggle to put him into a good squad and that's the only reason why great physical player great technique makes the right runs all the time brilliant finishing brilliant head in the only bad points i can think of and again it's the small league and small nations thing i've wrote that there that's it guys well worth the money i think you should get him if you have enjoyed the video remember to leave a like comment and as always subscribe